Hello and welcome to Easy Drupal. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we prepare our site to upgrade from Drupal 8 to Drupal 9. Uh, and I showed you in the previous video, the upgrade status page, really useful module for uh, determining what you need to do to get your site ready. We cleared out some dead modules and today we're going to update these three modules here that are showing as incompatible, as in the local uh, version that we've got currently running is not compatible. We've got 8.x-1.6 and there is a version on Drupal org which is 8.x-1.1 or 1.10 I should say otherwise it would be the wrong way around. So we're going to update those today. Of course you will have noticed that a couple of these are actually themes uh, but the process is the same it's just in a different directory. Okay let's get those updated. Okay I'm going to attempt to do this all on one screen. I'm not quite sure what sort of detail you'll see um, so yeah, what I tend to do is if I want to get the latest version of a module, I go to the page on drupal.org and I've got these opening tabs up the top, which you won't see. Uh, and each of these will tell you where, how to get the latest version. And you can basically copy that command there, which in this case, this is path auto. Uh, we're going for Drupal slash path auto version 1.1 O or greater. Uh, and then if we return to our command line from the root of our site, that should install that for us. Do the same for the other two. So bootstrap. and Drupal 8 Symphonies. It's a long time since I worked on this site, as you can probably tell. Okay, that's all of that done. Let's just clear the cache. Okay, so we've cleared the cache. Let's uh, get back to the upgrade status page and we can refresh this page. Hopefully those three should now be green for go. Well, all apart from Drupal 8 Symphonies. So in this case, I think we probably need to rescan that one. So we tick on the box, hit scan, and then it will check for us. Okay, so that one had also been installed in the wrong place. Uh, so I can just refresh this. I've, I've uh, removed the folder and that should now disappear. It has. Okay, um, hopefully that hasn't broken anything because I've moved the moved the theme. It possibly has, but I can fix that outside of this video. Okay, next up we'll fix this one with Rector, which is just another little tool that you can use. Uh, I'll show you how to do that in the next video. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Uh, as usual, I'll leave any commands down below so you can have a go yourself. Any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. See you soon.